Hi everyone, it's Sunday, and you know what? We have some few repairs on a Sunday, some kind of urgent jobs. So, what is in front of me? This is some kind of all in one uh, TV board. You know, those some kind of Chinese TV. This is coming from uh, uh, another repair shop, but they are doing special, they are specializing on phones. So, they bring this board for repair here. This is some kind of 32 inch TV board, Chinese TV board, which came in as no power. And uh, we have another job, which is coming from the capital city of Zimbabwe, that is Harare. This one, I have this job, which is coming from Harare. So, let's focus on this TV board, then we'll do that, uh, that one, which is coming from another town, after we have fixed this. So, what we can check here, What you can check on this board. Obviously, we are checking. This is the cable. The AC in cable. We must have 220, 230 volts. And we do have voltage. 213 volts AC. Let's plug in this cable here. Okay. So, cable plugged. Obviously, we must have standby light here, like red light. We don't have standby light here. So, checking on the big capacitor for voltage. Zero. Okay. Let's unplug here. So, if you are in TV repairs, you know common faults on such kind of TVs. What is most likely to fail on such kind of TV board? You do have uh, the AC in here, and this brown thing is the fuse. The fuse can blow up. We have four dials, which are acting as the rectifier. Yeah, that can be uh, the problem can emanate from those dials, or from the most. Oh, I think I see. I've just seen the problem, huh? I think I've just seen the problem. Check this MOSFET. Okay, let's go on a microscope. Let's see the MOSFET together. Check this MOSFET. This is some kind of blown up MOSFET. Huh? What do you have here? We have the, the drain here. That is the source, the gate. The gate is blown up. We have one missing leg here for the gate, which is triggering this MOSFET to to switch up the coil. Huh? So I think the problem is visible. It's visible. Let's go back. The problem is visible. The MOSFET is blown up. But the reason, there is a reason why that MOSFET blown up. Hmm? Diode mode on the big capacitor, zero voltage, zero volts. So here on the big capacitor, we have a short, and uh, on those diodes, short. Short, short, short. All the four dials they are reading a short. So what I want to do without wasting time, I will take out the the MOSFET. Well, the, this MOSFET is blown up. So I will take out the MOSFET. And... We'll see if we have shorted dials there. Maybe we have multiple faults on this board.
the MOSFET is out, you can see the MOSFET, one leg is missing, which is the gate, which is the gate of the MOSFET. So now, let's check the dials again. The first one is good. The second one is gone. Gone. So actually, two dots they are shorted there. Oh, uh, two dots they are shorted. These are jobs for my other repair shop, so they are paying half price. We can't spend too much time here. We can't spend too much time trying to fix this. This must be a very quick repair. So we have two dials shorted, and on the big capacitor, you can see there's no more short because I cut these shorted dials. You see this? Over the fuse, I can see some burn marks there. So we have a burner fuse, two dials shorted in the MOSFET. Board for space. Oh. I'll just take MOSFET from another board for space and we'll see we'll see I'll try to do shortcuts here just to to get over this because we have too many jobs to fix. Hmm? So, which diode is good? Which diode to replace here? Oh, uh, this one is gone. Now Another diode. What I'm doing here, I'm just replacing those diodes. It's very simple. Just to replace the diodes. After the diodes will go to the MOSFET. After the MOSFET. We'll fix the fuse. Okay, let's replace the second diode.
So this Chinese TV, they have common faults. You find a blown up fuse, you find a, a MOSFET that is blown up. What else? The T TL431 shunt regulator, the regulator for the optocoupling. Hmm? Yeah, I found one. Let's replace the MOSFET. I'm taking MOSFET from another TV boat. Obviously, doing the same job. Let's replace the MOSFET. Before putting the MOSFET in place, I need to soldering wire. Okay. Yeah, I found it. I found it. Flux. Now we are now replacing the MOSFET. Our second problem. Our MOSFET is now in place. What about the fuse? Huh? We have this plastic thing. I don't want to take it out because it's too long. I just want to bend the plastic and check the fuse. Let's check the fuse. And the fuse is gone. The fuse must be like this. Zero, zero. This fuse is gone. So. We need a nice. Nice bridge there. For the fuse. We need a very nice bridge there. Okay. Yeah. Now, either there are two options now. We fix the fuse with a, a nice a nice bridge. So there are two options here. What will happen next? And a slight explosion will happen here. Or or the board will be ready to be powered on. Okay. Drain to source. It's not shorted. Okay. Drain to get. Get to source. On the big capacitor. Okay. On those diodes. First one good. Second good. Third good. Fourth good. What else we can check on the secondary? We have some. Okay.
you have a capacitor close to the controller, the driver of this power supply. I want to check that capacitor. And uh, where the capacitor is, I have to take out the plastic. Because if the MOSFET is blown, you know the gate of the MOSFET is going straight to the driver. So, we might have a surprise here that even the driver is gone. Or we can just test. Hmm? We can just test what I would do. What I would do. I'll plug in here from a distance. I have one plug on on AC adapter. So we'll pay attention to the lights. Standby light. If we have seen standby light, it's fixed. If we didn't see, it means the driver's gone and we can't fix this. Hmm? And we have light. Huh? Check here. We have light. You can see the standby light? It's working. Huh? I knew. I knew it. Simply because it's Sunday. So this is a lucky customer. Because in most cases, the gate is going straight to the driver. And in most cases, we have the controller and the driver is here. This six leg chip. You can see this six leg chip is dying easily. Let's power on the TV. Paying at the TV board, paying attention to the lights from changing from red to, to blue. And it's on. Let's turn it off. Off. You can see the red light. On blue light. So this board is fixed. This board is fixed. Even if we we are to check the backlight circuit, what we can check on the output. We can check some voltages. A from IC P number eight three point twenty-eight. We have a regulator here. One point 5.15 volts on this power supply we have 1.2 this one is the power supply for standby 5.16 volts on the backlight connector we have 18 volts so everything on this board is working fine yeah it's still on you can see the blue light is still on we can turn it off off now off on now on so yeah this job is done like subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates please share our videos to your beloved friends and relatives and also i love india and south africa if you go on the channel audience those are on top of the world they are doing great they are supporting the channel uh, more than any other country south africa and india thank you so much so see you on the next one bye